Hello, this is Mike Carney at IBM Natiza. This afternoon I'm here with my colleague Thomas Dinsmore. Thomas is a practitioner in advanced analytics. He's been working in the field in a hands-on role for more than 20 years and at more than 500 organisations globally, so a highly experienced practitioner. Thomas, are analytic techniques based on Bayes' theorem widely used in industry? Can you give us a couple of examples from different industries where they're used? Sure. Well, there are several different methods that are based on Bayes' theory. And the two that are most important is a technique that's called naive Bayes. It's, it's simply called that because there are certain assumptions about the data that are built into the method. That is very pervasive. It's widely used. It's a very easy to use application. Uh, it's very robust. It performs very well. It's computationally very efficient, so it runs fast. And it uh, performs surprisingly well, given that it has fairly simplistic assumptions about the data. Um, the naive Bayes is used in applications like spam filtering. It's seen as a black box kind of an algorithm, and it will produce acceptable results without a human analyst. So it's, it's often embedded in business applications. Uh, Bayesian networks are the other kind of method um, that's uh, fairly common. It's an emerging application. Bayesian networks are also called belief networks. And a Bayesian network is primarily a discovery tool. It's intended when you have a large number of potential variables that could predict a behavior such as a credit score or uh, a, um, you know, a particular event such as a, a, a medical condition, uh, a Bayesian network will help you to very quickly sift through and identify the variables that have the most impact on the variable that you want to predict. So in that example there for credit scoring, for instance, I mean, we're, we're used to the idea of credit scoring against very large populations of people, which sort of introduces this concept of big data that we're hearing more and more about in our industry. Does big data have advantages for uh, advanced analytics? Does it help, for instance, with uh, improving the accuracy of predictions that you might be making using a Bayesian technique? It has a huge benefit in two ways. First of all, when you work with a sample, you introduce a certain amount of noise into your analysis, uh, noise that stati statisticians call sampling error. And this is simply the the fuzziness in your analysis is introduced by the possibility that you could obtain different results if you had simply sampled at random uh, a different group of people from your universe. Um, it, as long as your sample is drawn at random, uh, it's the, the, the amount of sampling error is predictable. But unfortunately, a lot of samples in the real world are not drawn at random, in which case your results can be biased. And every analyst has war stories about, about bogus results, uh, data that was flawed because the sampling uh, was incorrect. Um, in addition, when you work with all of your data, when you work with all of your data, you're able to sub-segment and, and, and define niches within your overall portfolio of customers or transactions, whatever it is that you're working with. Uh, and you can develop um, much more targeted models because instead of building one model that attempts to predict all of the behavior, uh, you, you're, what you're doing is you're sub-segmenting the data and building multiple models. You're always better off when you do that and you're never worse off. Right, right. Nateza appliances exploit massively parallel processing architecture. This architectural approach gets over many of the challenges that trip up traditional database management systems and the data warehouses that run on them. Do customers actually accrue benefits by running their analysis inside a Nateza appliance? There are huge advantages. Um, the basic problem with a traditional database is that a traditional database cannot do a Bayesian analysis. You can't, simply can't do the math within a traditional database. And so if you wanted to do a Bayesian analysis, whichever kind you wanted to do, you had to extract the data into a statistical package. You build your models offline in the statistical package. And then you have to figure out, once you're done, you have to figure out how to get your results back into the database. And that's a, often a real science project. And I've worked with a lot of customers who consistently say that that process of getting models back into the database is a, is a huge headache. 
when you build your models directly within the database, you completely eliminate this whole process of extracting data and everything that that entails. In other words, extracting data offline takes time, uh, it costs money, uh, it puts an impact on your, on your network, um, it actually raises compliance issues uh, for firms that are they're trying to manage you know, customer privacy and so forth. Um, so when you build, and on top of that, there's a huge performance benefit because with the massively parallel architecture, our, our algorithms typically outperform you know, anything that we compete with. Now, we support both Bayesian classifiers and Bayesian networks as native, native database functions. So when the user wants to execute this kind of analysis, they simply do so immediately within the database. Data stays within the database. They save time. They save money. So we simplify the whole process. We simplify the whole process. Right. Thank you, Thomas. That has been a really insightful uh, view of how uh, a database appliance from the teaser can really simplify uh, this process of Bayesian analytics and bring value to data that our customers are already managing. Thank you very much.